Computer vision is one of the hottest topic in the context of object detection, face recognition and image recognition based AI applications. CNN are very popular when it comes to processing images and videos. So how these uh, CNN or convolution neural network models recognize the contents of an image and videos. Folks, Nitin here and this is the AI University channel. In this video, I am going to explain convolution layer. In order to recognize uh, various features of an image or a video frame, convolution neural network or CNN makes use of various layers. Convolution layer is one of the several layers used in the process of identifying features of an image. I will explain the various concepts associated with convolution operation along with visual representation of how exactly these features are identified. So watch this video till the end. If you are new here then consider subscribing to this channel or if you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century. GitHub link for all the required Jupyter notebooks is given in the description section and please don't forget to like and share this video. Let's first understand few concepts before we dive into convolution layer in detail because you need to have a complete understanding of these concepts in order to understand how computer recognizes images. First concept is pixel. So a pixel also depicted as px is a smallest portion of an image. It's a single point in the image and when these pixels group together then it will make an entire image. Let's take an example. So on the screen you can see that there is an image of moose. This image is made up of thousands of pixels and we see this image in terms of pixels. This is how it looks like. Now each individual square box is a pixel and when these square pixels combine together, these make a complete image. Moving on, if you remember, we saw this image in the first video. So if you see on the left hand side, you will see an old man. And if you see on the right hand side, you will see a man riding a horse. So how our brain is processing it? Well, through contours and edges of this image, our perception is getting affected. Our brain captures the patterns in the image to recognize or classify an object. Neural networks such as convolution neural networks get strained on these images to recognize the pattern and then classify the object in the image accordingly. There is a special name given to these patterns and in CNN terminology we call them feature detector or filter or kernel. This feature detector is our number two concept. So CNN makes use of this feature detector to detect the significant features of an image data in order to provide predictions. Feature detector is simply a small matrix of weights. Now the third concept is convolution and let's try to understand it. As explained in the previous video, the images are depicted in the form of numbers because computer sees an image as an array of numbers. The matrix on the right contains uh, numbers between uh, 0 and 255, each of which corresponds to the pixel brightness in the left image. Both are overlaid in the middle image. Let's move on. Consider we have a training uh, 2D input image on the left hand side and feature detector on the right hand side which is a 3x3 matrix. It can be 5x5 or 7x7 five seven seven matrix as well but the most commonly used is 3x3 three three matrix. Convolution operation is denoted by symbol X inside circle. In order to do this convolution operation what you do is to put this feature detector on the input image just like you see below where orange feature detector is put on gray input image. Then you perform element wise multiplication of 9 pixel feature detector with the part of input it is currently on and then summing up the result into a single output pixel. So 0 into 1 is equal to 0, 0 into 0 is equal to 0, 1 into 1 is equal to 1. 0 into 2 is equal to 0, 1 into 0 is equal to 0, 0 into 0 is equal to 0, 0 into 1 is equal to 0, 
0 into 0 is equal to 0 and 1 into 1 is equal to 1. So when we add these values, we get 2 which is then placed here. After that, you slide over next set of input data from left to right and perform element wise multiplication once again, just like shown in the reference image. This is just for reference purpose to show you uh, how we'll be uh, moving from left to right. Now the step at which we are moving this whole feature detector is called as a stride. Here we have a stride of one pixel, but we can have a stride of two or three pixel as well. And that depends upon our requirement. If the stride is one, then image will be reduced a bit. And if you have a stride of two, then your image will be reduced some more. So basically feature detector repeats this process of moving from left to right for every location it slides over, thereby converting a 2D matrix of features into another 2D matrix of features having reduced size of that image. In a nutshell, stride is the number of pixels by which we uh, slide our filter matrix over the input matrix. And when the stride is one, then we move the filters uh, one pixel at a time. And when the stride is two, then the filter jump two pixel at a time as we slide them around. The larger the stride, the smaller the feature map would be. So this process is termed as convolution. And by doing this, the shape of input image is modified by the feature detector, thereby detecting a particular feature from the input image and get the result having information about that feature. This is called feature map. If you want to see how this operation works in real life, then see this example. Now, why do we make the size of the image small by doing convolution? Well, this is because it is easier to process the small image in a faster manner. So imagine you have a 256 by 256 pixel image. It will be very difficult to process such a huge number of pixel image. So the feature detector having a stride of two will reduce the size of this image significantly. One more important thing uh, when we apply feature detector is that we lose some of the information because of having less value in a resulting matrix, but we still get a lot of useful features or information from the image, such as nose, eyes, lips, etc. from an image of a face. That's what feature map helps us uh, preserve, thereby getting rid of all unnecessary things. In fact, we humans also remember only important features of an image, thereby neglecting all other unimportant information from the image. So this way we essentially get multiple feature maps because a neural network might apply different feature detectors on an image during model training, thereby deciding which feature of the image are important. Now what if we have a color image and we want to apply convolution operation on it? A color image is 3D or three dimensional in nature because it consists of three colors, namely red, green and blue. So let's say you have a seven by seven pixel image with a three channel of RGB colors, then our image data would possess seven by seven by three pixels. Now we want to find out most important features of this image. And for that, first we need to stack three 2D feature detectors. These feature detectors are corresponding to red, green and blue channels of that input image. We can call this collection of stacked feature detectors as filters. This is because in one channel case that is black and white image, the term filter, feature detector and kernel are interchangeable, but in general they are actually pretty different. Each filter actually happens to be a collection of kernels with there being a one kernel for every single input channel to the layer and each kernel being unique. We are using four such filters to detect the feature of the Im input image. Then we apply convolution operation for each filter or feature detector. The resultant output would be five by five by four image. This output image has height of 5 pixel and width of 4 pixel. So height and width of the image got changed after applying convolution operation. Basically the number of feature detectors being used uh, determines the depth of the output image. 
Since we use four filters, that's why uh, the width came as four. This entire operation is depicted by convolution layer in CNN. You can visualize this uh, using this particular image. So folks, this is it for this video. In the next upcoming video, I will cover another important layer of convolution neural network. So here is today's question. If I have an input image of 512 by 512 pixels, then which option would result in the reduction of size of that image more? Number one, taking a stride of two. Number two, taking a stride of three. Please post your answers, comments in the comment section given below so that I can get a chance to incorporate your feedback. You can also post your technical questions in the comment section and I will try to answer the same. If you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel, consider clicking that little subscribe button. In case you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will be covering next topic in the upcoming videos. So keep on watching. Thank you.